what is the length of this this uh, red line well, I'm about to put in here? Okay, hoping you remember. What's the length of that red line? No. Thank you. Was it 13 minus 2x? Yeah. The two blues are word x, and the whole thing is word 13. Okay. Next thing. Uh, what is the length of this purple line here? Thank you. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to fold this up into a box. Okay. And here will be my box now. There's one. There's the next one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, now what do we do here? Everybody see the box? Okay, now, what's the width of the box again? 13 minus. What's the other part? Now, what's the height? Because you fold up by X, don't you? Okay, first question. Prove the volume is given to you by this. Now, once again, if you can't do question one, you can use that formula to do the rest of the questions. So there's no big deal if you, if you don't get it out. Okay? So what we say is x times 13 minus 2x times. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply it two brackets. So I'm going to get 130. Uh, what's that one then? Minus 26x minus. 20x and then after that, uh, plus 4x squared, gents, if you can remember that. 2 minus is negative, plus. Okay. It wasn't great. Now, there's no examples of in the past papers, to be sure. Now, uh, what's x times 130? x times minus 46. 46x six squared. And x times 4x squared. Now, do you see I got the exact same answer, just in a different order? I could reorder that, okay? It is. Uh, the only place you find this type of setup is in the ordinary question section, that the start is in the center. Okay? Now, okay. So I'm going to cut this. Now, that's the first one. Okay. Find the maximum volume. Okay. What happens in a maximum? The first derivative equals zero. Zero. The reason why maximum and minimums of the first derivative equals zero is the slope is zero at the top of the mountain and the bottom of the valley. There is no slope. Okay, so first derivative, what do we get when we differentiate this? Yeah. Plus, I'll let you too, thank you. And plus what? 130? Okay. Okay, uh, can you do a bit right there, do you? All right, lads, we do the minus B, and Keynes is going to give me the answer for the... Uh, You got 1.9. Did you get 1.9? Yeah. 1.9 and 5.8. Okay, so you do the minus b forms. Everybody happy for me to skip the minus b formula for the sake of time? So x is 1.9. What's your answer? Now, one of those answers is not possible, I believe. Think about it. Was it one of our lengths 10 minus 2x? Yeah. Why is 5.8 not possible? Too large because that means it will uh, it will cause it to be too large, right? Now, so we're going to go with x equals one point nine. Okay, what do I have to do to figure out the uh, find the value of x? I did it. It's one point nine. Done. Part three. Find the volume. That's the answer. Who got 1.9 with four marks? Who got 5 out of 10. Find the value x will maximize the turn volume. Give your correct answer. That's, that's. Okay. Shh. Lads.
If the value of x is chosen to be an integer closest in value to the value that will maximize the volume, calculate the volume of the box. The value of x is chosen to be an integer closest in value to the value. So we got x equals 1.9. 1.9 is not an integer. What's the closest integer? 2. x equals 2. How do you get the value with the box again? What's the formula? 4x cubed, yeah? What's that, the 4x cubed? Minus 46x squared. And then what's after that? 130. So lads, what numbers go here? 2, 2, and 2. What do you get when you put on that in? Show it on the calculator. 8 centimeters cubed. Is that the end?